In this clip, I will talk you through how you can recycle or clean your blending stumps. This is particularly important for me because I use blending stumps a lot in color medium. So when I use them, for example, in red, and then I want to use them on blue, the red will transfer onto the blue. You will see this in this demonstration that I'm about to show here. Now, firstly, <laughs> I'm going to show you how over time, when the blending stump becomes blunt, it doesn't entirely blend that well. I've just done some cross hatching and you can see it hasn't blended the pencil entirely. So that's one thing to mention when you're using your blending stump. Now, I've used this blending stump here to blend some red and orange color pencils. And you can see here quite dramatically how the blending stump has held on to that color. So if, for example, I was blending a sky with blue colored pencil, that red would transfer onto the blue of the sky if I was using that blending stump. So it's really important that if you are using blending stumps, that you clean them or that they are clean before you're using them on your work, but also that they have a point on them. So before we get started, I'm going to talk about the resources you will need. You will need a craft knife with a sharp blade. Make sure the blade is sharp before you get started. And you will also need some sandpaper for fine sanding at the end of the process. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take off any of the edges and to get my um, paper stump to a sharp edge. So I'm doing that and I'm making sure that I'm going along the edge of the blending stump and taking that paper stump off away from me. So I'm not cutting towards me, I'm cutting away from me. And you need to make sure that when you are doing this, this is either being done by an adult or under adult supervision. We shouldn't be having children doing this by themselves. Now, this is one of the ones that was done um, on colored pencils, and I will have a look at doing that with sandpaper later. I just took some of the edges off of that one. So I'm now going to take all of those loose shavings, put those in the bin, and put some sandpaper down. There are links to all of the resources that I've used today in the description below. I'm now going to put this on sandpaper. I'm using 120 point sandpaper. Um, it, I would suggest you use fine sandpaper because obviously we are just um, essentially sanding paper here because blending stumps are made out of paper. So I'm just rotating very carefully this one because this is a really small blending stump and I'm just rotating it very carefully I don't want to go in too much because otherwise I may damage the blending stump. But if I do, I will just go in with the craft knife later. So I'm just literally rubbing it very carefully on the sandpaper to get the edges off so it's ready to go for my next piece of work. So you can see there's some tiny little bits there, but they're just at the base. I probably wouldn't even go near that, but I just want to get those little edges off before I go and do my next piece of work because it could be a completely different colour and you wouldn't want that colour to end up on your work. Now this blending stop has considerably more residue on it. I think I may have actually used this for oil pastels, I can't honestly remember, but it does have quite a lot of colour residue on it. Now most blending stumps you will see will have charcoal and pencil on them, but I do use them quite a lot for colour pencil work. Um, Prismacolor, which is wax based and oil pastels, which is probably not a good idea, but that's what they're there for. So um, the issue you have is if you're using it on several different colors, so you may have to clean it in the middle of a piece of work. But that's why I find using sandpaper is a quick and easy way to do this. But if the worst comes to the worst, you could and it is really dirty and you need to get it back to a fine point, then you use the knife. But at the moment, I'm just cleaning this with um, sandpaper and I'm then at the end just going to bring it to the final point um, making sure that my knife is really sharp, holding it steady on the table and just bringing it to that final point there. So then when I finish this, my blending stump will be good to go. And here are my finished blending stumps. I'm now ready to do colour pencil, charcoal and chalk or any other media that requires blending. If you enjoyed this clip, then make sure you check out more clips like this on my YouTube page. Don't forget to look in the description below for details of products used in today's clip. And if you have any ideas for content or questions, please leave a comment below. Finally, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future content. Also, you can now check out my Patreon for exclusive content, including real-time content and more.